Pheromones are species-specific chemicals that influence a definite behavior or a developmental process. They do this by affecting hormone levels. When women are pregnant or when they're in their uh, uh, menses, uh, they're producing pheromones that actually drop a man's testosterone level. Probably elevated estrogen levels in other women are a tremendous draw at that time. And that's why you see marriages fall apart during pregnancy. Not the only reason, obviously, but it's a big reason that nobody ever thinks about. Another effect that we don't realize as uh, coming from pheromones is father-daughter effect, where uh, biological father's presence will slow the onset of puberty in his daughter. You bring in an unrelated male, he'll advance her puberty. Food color, food spices associated with the odor and development of food preferences. Okay, women color their physical features. You know, they use makeup to make it appear that they're more fertile. The other things that we do, though, is men and women tan their skin. That's associated with an increase in vitamin D, but vitamin D increases also increases testosterone, sex drive hormone. So that's associated with increased pheromone production, better reproductive fitness. Uh, cosmetic surgery enlarges breasts to make them appear more capable of odor production and distribution. Makes them more visually appealing by making them have more associated odor appeal. Um, novelty factor, incest avoidance, we know that that's due to pheromones in every species if you're raised with uh, close kin, you're not sexually attracted. The Israeli, Israeli kibbutz is the example that's offered of children raised together, they don't grow up and get married. Um, varieties of spice of life, uh, spices, uh, which is what we can do with pheromones now, basically. Uh, we can use colognes and perfumes that are pheromone enhanced to add spice natural odors. What can we do to um, give people more appeal? I was looking at this LH a long time ago and then finally these guys come up with an effect of androstenol on LH in human females. Okay, extracts of male axillary secretions have a direct effect on LH and mood. Mood change should go along with behavior. What most people haven't realized is that Pheromones occur in mixtures, okay? And you can't just have androstenol uh, having an effect because androstenol is not species specific. Androsterone kind of meets the criteria there. The metabolite of the most abundantly produced steroid hormone in priming. Its metabolism varies individually in humans. Its production changes with age dependent and immune system status changes. Uh, that are reflected in different levels of testosterone and estrogen and also vary with sexual orientation in them. We've got this, all these factors that go along with androsterone and, and then the people report it smells like fresh sweat. Hey, uh, I've done a couple of preliminary studies. We videotaped the interactions of these women in their ovulatory phase with the guy who's either wearing the chemicals or not. And their behavior changed, their flirtatious behavior changed when the guy was wearing chemicals. We repeated the study and got results. So we went to the Society of Neuroscience that year and presented the information and said, okay, when this guy was wearing the androstenol androsterone mixture, female subjects were more likely to make eye contact and laugh during the interaction. A little bit of extra uh, flirtatious behavior. And then she asked a series of questions that I had never incorporated into the study design. She says, well, uh, did you think he was funnier, uh, more intelligent, or, you know, what were the differences uh, in the two conditions? Did you notice anything different? No, no, didn't know. He wasn't funnier, he wasn't more intelligent. Were you more attractive? Yes. <laughs> okay, why? We don't know. Unconscious effect. Exactly what you would expect. <laughs> this was the bottom line that I presented then at uh, uh, Society for Behavioral Neuroendocrinology. Now we know that the effect of androstenol on LH and what appears to be an associated behavioral effect of androsterone meet the criteria that characterize human pheromones.